technology impacts our culture, efficiency, and relationships of a business and on a wider level, a country. It is our shared responsibility to empower our ICT ecosystem. Today, I have a special guest with me, Engineer Hatem Duedar. He has a long track record of achievements on a global scale uh, across various leadership positions, and he was recently named one of the top CEOs by Forbes, and today he is leading Atisalat Group. Welcome to Future Now Talks, Engineer Hatem. Ahlan Alia. Engineer Hatem, do you play chess? Uh, I do. So if the ICT ecosystem in UAE was a chessboard, how would you describe it today? I think overall, if we're talking about UAE business environment and ICT is part of it, it's a very uh, unusual chessboard because I think the uh, color that we're playing with has maybe double the number of pieces that the other colors have. There is so much going on for the ICT environment here, for the overall business environment in the UAE, that we have a very clear advantage against any other color that would be playing against us. Mm. So the queen in chess, it's the most capable piece. It can make any move that all of the other pieces can make. What would you say is the technology that plays as a queen in the ICT ecosystem today? I think I will be, uh, you know, uh, very thinking very much of it as a lot. And I think that the queen of ICT is the telecom infrastructure, is the connectivity. Because without great connectivity, you cannot build anything else. And with connectivity, I mean both the wired and the wireless connectivity. Because this is what connects all the computers and the networks together. So no matter how great you have in terms of computing power or applications, if you cannot connect it together, you cannot have that. And we know that in the past decade, the biggest growth has happened because of all the app development and things that came behind that. And that only came when you had great wireless networks that can handle this. Several organizations are um, launching their own digital arms or reinventing themselves with digital as a key element. So we have Atisalat launched Atisalat Digital, Diwa launched Digital Diwa, TRA have rebranded to TDRA. What do you think of this pattern? How is it going to affect uh, the market into the future? I think Atisalat have foreseen this. Uh, if you know the vision that Atisalat has is empowering digital societies. So for a number of years, we have been working to exactly enable and empower all these organizations to become more digital and also empowering ourselves to become more digital as an organization because we are as an organization we have a lot of things we do that we can digitize and of course to enable this digital society we had to build world-class infrastructure as you know Tosalot provides the fastest mobile network in the world and today we are in the top 15 in terms of uh, fiber networks uh, uh, speeds. We are in the top in terms of fiber network reach. We're in the top position. So all these are critical to get to that connected digital society. So if we talk about the digital technologies and solutions, we have cybersecurity, Internet of Things, AI, um, and lately 5G. They have shaped the ICT ecosystem or impacted in the last five years. How do you think moving forward in the next five years, how do you think things will continue to change? So there are several things. I mean, one thing is the technology itself. So 5G is going to mature. Today, you only have a handful of devices that are supporting 5G. And the coverage, while in the big cities uh, in the UAE, we have very wide coverage still some of the roads, still some of the smaller towns don't have that depth of coverage yet. So over the next five years, you will see 5G become like 4G today. So everywhere there will be 5G, everywhere you will be able to get hundreds of megabits of speed uh, on your device. And all the devices by that time will be 5G. So this is one side where this will evolve. The other thing is we see more and more of uh, applications, whether they are consumer applications 
or enterprise applications that are moving to the cloud. And that also makes the connectivity even more important because if you want your information, your applications to be running in the cloud, you, you want to be accessing them very fast. So this is also a thing that we will see is more and more uh, of what we do will be happening on the cloud and we will just be using a client, whether that client is a laptop or, or a, a pad or a, a mobile device. Uh, these are all don't need the processing power that was needed in the past. But what we will need mm -hmm. is a lot more processing power in the cloud. So we'll see more and more of supercomputers, quantum computing mm -hmm. coming already. I think a lot of people in the UE talking about building regional quantum computing uh, uh, capability here. So we'll see more of that as well. So this is another defining moment uh, in this. Today, you know, we are uh, uh, the, the, the leading regional hub for uh, ICT. And I think we will become more and more of a global player in the coming years. We know that a lot of the disruptive solutions come from the open innovation ecosystem. So what do you think, how do you think um, organizations can invest or drive uh, innovation from the open innovation ecosystem or create new solutions with the open innovation ecosystem? I think several things. And for example, I can talk about an experience in a lot. Uh, we have uh, our own accelerator where we work with startups and help them develop new technologies. We're focusing more on the B2B technologies at the moment, but we're also going to start looking at more B2C type of applications as well. We are also preparing ourselves to invest directly more in promising technologies that can add to our portfolio that not only we will use it within our service in the UAE, but across our footprint. As you know, we operate in 16 countries, so we can really take these technologies and take these startup and innovative companies and take them to become uh, 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 global players, not only local players. And the third thing is being open. So uh, when people come with good ideas, we, we can help them by using our network, by using uh, our technology to check the compatibility and how it can work and see how that can apply for the better of overall the community, for us and for, of course, these companies to survive. Okay, now if I ask you about the future. So if there is one thing that you can protect, that you can keep, preserve for the future, knowing how things change, what would it be? I think it's uh, the human interaction and we need to balance between changing everything to become automated and become, you know, very distant and yet still have that contact and human relationship with our customers in a way. And I think this is one of the things that I see overall, not only in telecom, but in lots of industries where you start to lose that touch. And I think it's very important to keep that connection to the customer. And if I ask you the other way around, so let's say, uh, you know, or you expect things might happen in the future and you have the option to bring one thing today, what would you bring? To bring? One thing from the future now, to bring it now, what S would you do? Space travel. Space travel? No, I think, again, when you look at things like driverless cars, and the reason for having driverless cars is to have efficiency and to have absolutely no time lost in traffic because the time between braking and also safety becomes much more safe. So if we can bring that technology today where you have a world where you don't waste time and you have the time of travel between point A and point B in a safer way, I would love to see that today. Thank you, Engineer Hatem, for joining me on Future Now Talks. Thank you very much, Ali. It was a pleasure. At Future Now, we bring the latest technologies and solutions by collaborating with scale-ups, IoT developers, and our customers. And that's what the Future Now talks are all about. Stay tuned.